What's going on coders and welcome to the brand newest playlist of our Google Apps Script course, Season 9. These next couple of videos are going to be highlighting the form service starting with this introductory video showcasing the form app. So the form app is the parent class for the service used to access Google Forms. If you had asked me, Google Forms are an incredibly underrated and underutilized product offered in the G Suite. If you're unfamiliar with Google Forms, basically it is a survey that you create or a list of questions that you create and then you can send these questions out to different people or different respondents. They'll answer the questions, you'll gather all of their data and responses and then after that you can do some um, analysis on that. So let's say that you're a teacher, you could use Google Forms to create a quiz and send that quiz out to all of your students. Or if you're a researcher and you have a bunch of questions that you'd want uh, subjects to answer, you can create a form and then send that form out to all of your subjects to get some data on them. Or let's say you're a marketer and you want to get some preferences or tastes from your customers, you can send out a form and then gather that data as well. So again, lots of use cases. We're gonna look at a lot of the methods that you can use to um, get all of this data and use Google Forms to the fullest extent. However, uh, a lot of times when you are creating these forms, again, you can do it manually. However, a lot of times you'll want to get a lot of data and sometimes you'll want to send out a new form, say every day or every week. And that is where the form app comes into play. When you can do these things systematically and programmatically, you can do a lot of the legwork um, or Google can do a lot of the legwork for you. So again, we're gonna look at all of these uh, use cases in later videos. Um, some of the direct use cases of the form app are to create and open existing forms, get the UI, access form app enums, and create validation rules on some of your questions. So what I wanna do in this first video is just to set everything up. I want to just authenticate the form app just to make sure it's ready to go before we dive deeper into any of these uh, methods. So let's jump into the code right now and authenticate the form app. Here in the code editor, we have a blank slate because we just created a new project called Season 9 and we are excited to have some fun learning about form app. But before we can do that, we need to first authenticate the form app to run on behalf of our Gmail account. So to do that, we first need to type in form app. And again, if we hit this period and we get a list of methods and enums, then we are doing this correctly. If you do not get this pop-up, make sure that you are spelling everything correctly. And again, just as a reminder, this is case sensitive. So you have to have the F and the A in form app capitalized and everything else is lowercase. So if we again type this uh, period right here, we get a list of methods. Let's just uh, click on a random one like open by ID. And now if we hit the save button, Let's hit the run button and then we should get a pop-up that says authorization required. So we've seen this before. We'll review the permissions. We'll choose an account and it says season, one, season nine wants to access your Google account right here. That is okay. This will allow season nine to view and manage your forms in Google Drive. Again, that is all okay with us. We are going to be accessing and modifying these forms. So that's exactly what uh, we want form app to do. All right, so now it is all authorized and authenticated. And yes, we do get this reference error, but that is just because we didn't actually put an ID in this method, but we did uh, officially authorize form app to run on our behalf. So now that we have everything set up to go, we can go on to the next couple of episodes where we can start looking uh, deeper into some of the functionality of form app. So guys, I hope you are as excited as I am to look into uh, more of the use cases of FormApp. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next episode.